हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू बिल्ड ए कस्टम गूगल क्रोम एक्सटेंशन इन एच टी एम एल फाइव इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो बेसिकली वी विल बी बिल्डिंग ए एक्सटेंशन विच विल चेंज द कलर ऑफ द वेब पेज लेट मी जो शो यू द लाइव डेमो यू कैन सी दिस इज माई एक्सटेंशन हेयर इफ आई जस्ट क्लिक दिस एक्सटेंशन ए पॉपअप विंडो विल अपियर हेयर आई नीड टू जस्ट एंटर द कलर नेम लेट सपोज आई नीड टू कलर चेंज द कलर टू रेड हेयर एंड आई विल सिंपली क्लिक चेंज कलर एंड यू विल सी द कलर ऑफ द वेब पेज विल चेंज टू रेड सो हेयर आई कैन रिप्लेस एनी कलर लेट सपोज आई चेंज दिस टू ग्रीन चेंज कलर एंड नाउ यू कैन सी आई चेंज टू ब्लैक यू कैन सी instantly you can just change the color to any color of your choice so this is a very simple google chrome extension we will build and through this extension you will get to know that uh, how to build it from scratch so now get let's get started for building this extension i have gi given a link in the video description uh, where you can just download all the source code also step by step instruction is also given so if you just want to follow along with this video you can go to the video description go to my blog step by step and then you can even download all the source code at the bottom you will find the github repository and this is my github repository simply click the code button download the zip file if you want to follow along now to get started guys first of all uh I will go to my desktop directory and inside the projects directory I will create a new project go to cmd make directory demo extension let me just make this name cd demo extension and uh, after this guys we will open this folder inside visual studio code so I will tell you the step by step process on building this chrome extension so basically there are three concepts involved in chrome extension building first is the manifest.json file which is the backbone of your chrome extension so first of all you need to create this file which is manifest.json so this is typically the configuration file which uh, typically involves the various information about your google chrome extension such as name of the extension version number all that stuff so if you go to my blog post you can see i have this is a template of creating this manifest.json file so simply you can just copy paste it and replace your name of the project so this is the name you can give of your google chrome extension so this will appear when you open the extension so i can just change this to demo extension and then you can put a version number manifest mer version needs to be 2 so this is mandatory so don't change this value so be it 2 and now comes the very important part here which is content script and this uh, browser action so basically guys whenever you click this extension let's suppose i click this extension this is a pop up window will appear so this is the pop up window so basically this is the html code which is generating this uh, pop up window now we need to explicitly tell inside this manifest.json file inside browser action and here we need to provide this property default pop up and here we need to provide the file name which is pop up.html you can even provide the title as well to change color this is my project name so i will stick to this title and this is the second important file which is content script content script contains the javascript or the business logic code which the extension uses in order to interact with the document object model so here inside this extension we are using it to change the web page color here so i write the color name and click change color so after this the javascript code the, which is present inside this file we will write this file which is content.js will actually change the color of the web page so this file is also mandatory that you need to create it so this is we need to explicitly define here content script property and here this this contains a matches property so here we are uh, executing the chrome extension on all url so if you want to execute only on a specific url you can just mention let's suppose to google.com so it will only execute on google.com
so if you want to execute on all URLs, so you will write like this and now we will create this popup.html file so basically this is the file which will appear once you launch the extension so here you can just make use of so we are using we don't need bootstrap for this project so this will have we also don't need the title as well so we can delete it and also we don't need jquery as well so so inside the body we will have a simple button which will say change color change color you can see and after before this you also need a input field type will be text and we can even give a placeholder just telling the user what to write inside this text field so placeholder so here this will be enter color and we can give a ID to it so we can track the value here so we can give it ID of color that's it and now we also need to write the JavaScript here so we can have popup.js here so this is a custom JavaScript file which we will create here so just create this file popup.js so right here inside this if you uh, go to the blog post here so you can see this is the index dot uh, sorry popup.html file and now we need to create this file which is you can see popup.js so simply we will copy paste the code here and i will explain to you so whenever all the content is loaded so basically we are targeting this button this we are attaching a event handler so when the user click this button so this function will automatically trigger which is on click we will get the value which the user type here we are using document or get element by id we are getting the value which the user has typed inside this input input field and then we are using this two lines of code in order to send this message to the content script so basically we are using chrome api here so chrome.tabs.query and we are targeting the current window which has which is opened here which is active and then we are sending this message we are also in the second parameter we are sending this color value and now we need to create this uh, content script here which we have mentioned here which is content.js and now to receive the value which is very easy here if you move down here so very simple two lines of code is required inside this so chrome dot runtime on message so in this popup.js file we are sending the value but now inside content.js we need to catch this value so we, again this has this listener value so this will get the value which the user has sent it so we will catch this value and we will make a custom function which will take this color value and this is just a uh, css property here which you know document.body.style so we are just changing the background color to the required value which the user has submitted and now is the time we can load this chrome extension this is pretty easy you need to go to the browser here and here you need to type here chrome slash slash extensions so this will go to the chrome's extensions here now you can load any sort of extension let me just remove this extension so you need to click this button load unpacked so when you load this you need to only select the folder in which your manifest file is there so mine is demo extension so i will select the folder so simply click select folder and now your extension will be loaded and now you can select your extension here 
by the name which we have provided here which is demo extension you can see so you can see this is the value here if i click this this pop-up window will appear so now you can just go to a specific website here which you need to change the background color to and then you can select this and i can change the color to red click change color so error is there you can just see the error here it is not changing the color to red let me just see here uh, guys the error was nothing because on this youtube website this extension is not working because i think it is not changing the background color so if you just check here on youtube it is not working here if you open google here and if you run this extension this will perfectly change the background color you will see it will change to red here and then it will change to yellow so i think it is just a youtube specific issue if you open any other website here let's suppose w3 schools and now if you try with this website if you click red you can see now it is changing it so in this way you can just make a simple chrome extension which changes the background color of the web page all the source code regarding this chrome extension is given in the video description you can just check here go to the step by step blog post and download all the source code and i will be seeing you in the next video